In the year 2021, Japan's population fell by 644,000 people in just one year. This is the equivalent of the population in Macau, and Elon Musk, the richest person on the earth, has warned that Japan will cease to exist if the birth rate doesn't exceed the death rate. And he also said that this would be a great loss for the world. So, will the Japan disappear eventually, or will the Japan cease to exist, as Elon Musk said, or is Japan a dying country? So I will answer that question in this video. 50 years ago, around 1970s, a Japanese government made a plan called Nihon Netto Kaizoron, which is translated into a plan for remodeling Japanese archipelago. This plan in a nutshell was made to strengthen the infrastructure and make the countryside better and have a prosperity in rural areas so that they can have a better quality of life in there. After this plan was implemented, a lot of people started to buy the land in the hope of rising the price in the future and sell it in a higher price so that they can make a profit out of it. Surprisingly, a lot of people are thinking that the price of the land will keep increasing forever. This is this was really ridiculous. In just the Tokyo area, the price of the land itself was higher than the United States country itself. The price of the lands were crazily increasing and the bubble has popped up eventually. And those lands were left behind right now and not a lot of people want to do anything about it and they don't want to maintain the land anymore. By the way, this is a story that I heard from my father and even if a person sees a ten dollars on the street they wouldn't pick it up because there's so many people like giving money on the street and like they will get paid bonus all the time and they go to the overseas and stuff okay let's see some of the clips for the abandoned cities Kanban には大きな文字で団地の名前が中央の案内図には分譲された区画ごとに所有者の名前が記されている名前書かれてないところは全部空き地です空き家は15棟ぐらいあって、で、家は全部で150棟ぐらいあると思うんで、まあ、10個に1個が空き家ぐらいの割合ですかね。As you can see, one in ten houses are empty. So one of the great examples of land abandoned city or abandoned town is Yubarishi in Hokkaido. The city was known for coal industry or movie theaters. A lot of people were going there to work for the coal industry. But after the end of coal era and started to shift the energy resources, uh, they started to lay off people. The city was having a difficulty of paying debt as there is no income for industry people and there is no tax income. Actually, a lot of YouTubers go there to see what is left behind and see the old buildings and see the old movie theaters. Hokkaido is in fact a cold region and it has like minus 10 or 20 Celsius degrees. A lot of people were trying to cut the cost so the city hall staff was not being able to use the heat after the after the 5 p.m. like after the work and if they want to work longer than 5 p.m. they stop the heat and they have to work during like minus 10 or 20 Celsius degree temperature. This is just one of the examples of you know, abandoned cities in Japan and if you go around the country you could see those kind of examples abandoned cities, abandoned houses, abandoned trees anything like uh, movie theaters that was built like 50 years ago and stuff yeah you could see that everywhere in Japan and in fact by the end of 2050 uh, it's likely to have like loss of 896 local governments out of around 1800 local governments so more than half of the local regions or governments will disappear and they have to you know refinance their budget and stuff so this is going to be a huge loss for japan and japanese government is trying to uh, get some population back yeah some governments some local regions trying to get young people from tokyo or osaka like large cities some governments provide money to the person who gave a birth so if you give a birth to a child the governments will pay you and if you are raising a children they're gonna also support you and provide some money and more and more young people are trying to immigrate to those kind of regions and they have more support and they have a better life than living in a city even though these kind of examples are increasing this phenomenon is not quite big in, in order for a country to revive they have to provide this kind of campaigns everywhere in japan so that they can fill the gap between cities and the local areas but unfortunately japanese government are having some huge debts and having some trouble financing so the likelihood of japan getting back and reviving and having good economy and being energetic is less likely in my opinion having some immigrations from other countries could help the situation 
I'm not really sure about it, but some people are against it and some people favor for it. So there are many problems that we have to talk about in order to solve this problem. So in conclusion, Japanese cities look like dead cities because of the Japanese, you know, economy was declining and the population is declining also. This problem could be solved by having some support for the children or getting some immigrants from abroad. However, Japanese government is not willing to do both of them. So it's going to be difficult for the country to have some good energy again. However, some people are saying that having less population is better for the country and 80 million people would be the suitable number for the country because Japan is not a very big country and having such a big population. And in my opinion, it would be a better idea too to have some less population because it would be, you know, settled down and, you know, it's going to be like a mature country, I think. So yeah, that's it for my video and if you like it, uh, please like it and give some comments and bye.